we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to recreate the Clarinet filter in Adobe Photoshop. You'll find the original via the link in the description below. And we only need an adjustment layer curves. And then we need to target the different color channels. Let's start with the red one. We create a typical S shape. And the center should be this diagonal line. So we go at around 50%, put it to the center. and. Below that, let's say 15 to 40, we create two more points to be below the diagonal line. And on top, we make it at around 16, 80%, two points to be above it. The specific points, they depend on the image that you use. So play a little bit around with it. Let's go to the green channel. And this time we're gonna stay above the diagonal line completely but it's still an S curve but the beginning is just flattened you can see that it's almost completely on the diagonal line and at around 50% I go upwards and then I flatten it out again on the right hand side at around 70% the blue channel we basically need only one point at around 70%, drag it upwards. It's nice and sometimes it helps to create a second point to flatten it in the lower half. So this is the only adjustment that you need and you can see the impact on the original. So go for the S curve on the red around the diagonal line, a flat S curve for green, and this two point curve in the blue channel. And this so can recreate this Clarendon filter in Adobe Photoshop. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.